like this video, please give me a thumb, thumbs up. Hi guys, hope you're well and thanks for joining me in my kitchen. Now today I've got a very tasty and delicious, very, very easy, my version of the garage chicken. We love it and I hope you guys love it too. And if you're new here and you like food, hit subscribe and click notify to stay up to date with new recipes every week. And if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And with that being said, let's get started. The ingredients that you will need are about 600 grams of chicken fillet that I've uh, cut into large cubes, two medium onions, and I've sliced that up into small pieces, about three tablespoons of cooking oil, I've got uh, green coriander, some red onion sliced up and red and green peppers and that we will use for garnishing. A couple of cinnamon sticks, some whole black pepper, a couple of uh, cardamom pods, half a teaspoon of whole cumin, one tin of chopped tomatoes and I've blitzed that in a machine, about one and a half tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste, some karai masala and I've got about one tablespoon one fresh tomato and the spices, one tablespoon of cumin powder, one tablespoon of coriander powder, one half teaspoon of chili powder and one teaspoon of turmeric powder. Okay, first of all what we're going to do is heat up our oil. So I'm going to add that in. Also we're going to add in the whole spices and the whole cumin. And I'm just going to leave that in there for about a minute. Okay, now we are ready to add in our onions. We're going to cook the onions so they're nicely golden brown. Uh, but I will check on them to make sure that they don't burn. Okay, so the onions are lovely and nice and golden. And we, now we are going to add in our chicken. So I'm just going to add that in. And I've kept the heat on low to medium and just give that a gentle stir. I'm going to add in the ginger and garlic paste as well so that can start cooking in there as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the heat on medium um, and we're going to cover this and I'm going to check on this as well. So I'm just going to cook it for about four or five minutes and then we're going to come back to it and see how, how it's getting on. Okay, so this looks about ready. Um, so now we're going to add in the spices. And also the garai masala, um, that does have salt in it. So what you, what you guys can do is just taste it first and then if you need to add more salt then you can go ahead. And then just give that a gentle stir. And also we're going to add in the tomatoes as well. So I'm going to add that, the whole tin in. The fresh tomato as well. I've taken the skin off. So what I did was I... Um, poured some hot water over the tomato um, and then peeled the skin off and then chopped it into small pieces. And now we're going to give that a stir again and we're going to make sure that the tomato and all the spices and everything is mixed in nicely. Um, and then what you can do is, um, you can also add a little bit of water as well if you want to. I'm going to cover and cook this and let this simmer for about five minutes. That smells delicious and that looks lovely. Uh, it's all ready now, so let's plate up. 